right, what's up, guys? This is Mark Augustine here. And um, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys. I did two videos about this before. Um, and I'll put a link to the two videos. The kid you hear in the background is Jimmy Sun. So shout out to Jimmy Sun. Like the video for Jimmy Sun. He said hi. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to use Wally Smarter, the best practice software for Walmart dropshipping. Pretty much the only Google Chrome extension that does this type of stuff. And it's done a lot of updates since. And Jimmy, this is his computer and this is his... um his Zoom, so you'll see Jimmy there. He will be, he worked for me previously when we had, when we were running eBay and Amazon and so on. So I'm going to spend some time explaining to him what Wally Smarter is and how all this stuff works. And then in the future, he would be doing videos, um, sharing the software with you guys, sharing different features, um, showing you how to find products to sell on Walmart, because that's what Wally Smarter is about. So <music> subscribe and like and comment and and stay till the end of the video right but it would be advantageous if you go to the link in the description and get the wally smarter application so that you could follow along so if you download the free trial you could follow along in the um with my videos and you could it would, it would be advantageous for you because you could actually do the product research while you see me do it so like and subscribe and let's get into this because i don't know if i'm going to find things to sell but well i'm going to find some to sell but take some time so what i'm so jimmy i'm on a walmart website right the difference when when we were doing ebay and amazon before we were selling on ebay and amazon from walmart or from home depot or from all these different places now, like about a year or two ago, Walmart, well, a long time ago, Walmart, you could sell on Walmart, but it was very hard. But like a year or two ago, there are a lot more people selling on Walmart now. So before we use Walmart as a supplier, now it's the marketplaces where we sell it, right? And this software would, this software tells you one of the things it does, right? When you're choosing what to sell, you have to like find products that are selling regularly and just sell the same thing, right? And that's what the software is supposed to teach us how to do. Shout out to Jimmy Sun again. <laughs> so what am I searching for? I want to go in the search bar. Why is, where's the search? I'm on walmart.com. And for some reason, it's not letting me search. But, okay, so this is, TVs, I wouldn't do TVs because I used to use Walmart as a supplier for TVs. Right, so let's look at some furniture. And Mainstays is a, is a Walmart brand, so. So one of the hardest things is like deciding what to sell, right? So I just chose this. This is not, so what we'll do is we'll search for like recliner. recliner recliner chair like i just chose that yeah like anything but one of the important things so the first thing you should do is do this this is what i usually do for pregnancy i come here and i choose retailer and under retailer you could choose walmart pro sellers or marketplace right what that is is there's a thousand nineteen items from walmart right and then, right, exactly. So I'm fulfilled at Walmart. And then pro sellers and marketplace fulfilled. Those are sellers that are selling on the platform. Like dropship. Right, like drop. Well, okay. So Wal marketplace sellers fulfilled by Walmart are people buying products, shipping it to Walmart, and Walmart is shipping it out. And pro sellers is where you'll find your drop shippers. Those are the guys that are selling and they're shipping from home, right? So we only want to compete with them. So we're looking for all the... Yeah, pro sellers, because that's the one, when you drop shipping on Walmart, that's you're going to compete with, right? So pro sellers, they say they have 541 pro sell, like items, right? So on this first page, there is, how many does Walmart list? I don't know, maybe like 50. So when you click Wally Smarter, you click the Chrome extension, and it will show you, so it'll, it'll show you a couple of things. So if you look on the top, You'll see the average multi-revenue. So out of all the items, the average amount of sales is $6,000. 
a month, right? And 23 a month. So you want to look for items that sell a lot. So this item sells $17,000, $16,199, right? I, they don't give you an option. So Wally Smarter automatically matches items with Amazon, but this item doesn't have an Amazon link. So you could open it and do the find out somewhere else on the internet is selling, but I'll do that in a second. I'm looking for an item, right? So look, this item, best choice products is saying it sells $54,000 and it also sells on Amazon 50 times. So on Walmart is 470. So if I click this, it'll take me to the Amazon link. This is how much it's been sold. Right. And it's being sold for the same thing. So you can drop ship this item on Walmart. Yeah. And the funny thing is I know this best choice um, store because he had best choice on eBay and Amazon and all that stuff. So I know that brand wouldn't work. So let's see something else. Reduce price, reduce price. Now, guys, use you watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. Um, you could find items that don't, you could go through the process of finding products that don't have the link match on Amazon. But I'm just, this is just a lazy way to do it. So this is an item that's selling $7,000. And it says it's on Amazon. So let's see if that's an item that we could sell. No, because it's the same 322. And on Walmart is 322. So let's continue going. And maybe I don't like to sell a lot of these big items. So this might be even a bad idea with the recliner. But the only way you can know is if you do the product research. I never tried to sell recliners on Walmart before. Uh, if all of these show up on Amazon at the same price, I'll choose another category. 279. Jesus. So this is kind of crazy. Yeah, and it's also like the same price. So let me check something cheaper. So let me check Coffee Maker. I was thinking about doing Coffee Maker before. So I search in Coffee Maker. And then I'm going into uh, retail and then pro seller. So when you see, ah, you got each other. So when you search, so all of these items are only from pro sellers. Leave him stuff. His mother there. <laughs> All right, so these are all pro sellers, but I don't. So this one sells $33,000. Let's see, show keyword, find a possible supplier. So if you hit find a possible supplier, I will search. Yeah. So it's pushed to Amazon and not Amazon, Alibaba. So this item is 50 bucks. So the, the brand is here because there is there is this temperature control coffee maker, right? So that brand is here, but we want the express one. <clears throat> so it didn't give a quick match and I wanted Amazon. Right now I'm looking for specific Amazon. Right, look, this item, it sells $33,000 and 21,000 times on Amazon. Hopefully the price will work. So 79 bucks. Jesus, that's the same, dude. And this is the same brand. Same brand, same brand. Let's see. Let's see if I'm ordering the items by the ones that have on Amazon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Betty Crocker. I doubt you'll get it for less than $25, but I could be wrong. It's more expensive on Amazon. So this item you could drop ship from Walmart to Amazon. Uh, 99, what brand is that? Come on, give me a hit. Because what you would do once you find one item, so see all buying options. 137, how much was it here? 99, so that's the item you can drop ship from Walmart to Amazon. 
So you can use this for Amazon dropshipping as well. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to cheat because I could cheat and go see some of the stuff I did before. But Right, so that even worked. What would I, what could I say? I'm going to edit out this part. What product I could search for that sells good on Amazon 